Hello and welcome back to Culinary Haven. You haven't heard this phrase for quite a while, we took a break, but we're back and to celebrate this occasion we're going to share with you one of our most beloved recipes for the orange polenta cake, Culinary Haven style. Everybody who tries this cake absolutely loves it and I'm sure you will too. You can serve it as a dessert or if you're anything like my husband, you can have it for breakfast with a cup of coffee. Let's begin. To make orange polenta cake, culinary haven style, we will need 150 grams of ground almonds, 150 grams of fine cornmeal or polenta, 200 grams of sugar, a zest of one orange, two teaspoons of baking powder, 150 grams of butter, softened to room temperature, three very large eggs, if your eggs are not very large, use four, 200 grams of cream cheese, any brand, as long as it's full fat and not flavored, one teaspoon of vanilla, because vanilla enhances the flavors and makes everything taste better, and I'm also using orange blossom water. It's optional. I like adding it because it gives the cake a more complex flavor. If you don't have it, don't have it. And for the syrup that we pour over the baked cake, we'll need a juice from one orange. It should be 100 ml of orange juice. So it should be sort of medium to large orange and 150 grams of marmalade. You will also need two large bowls, baking tin lined with baking parchment. I'm going to use an electric handheld whisk. You can also make the batter using a stand mixer with a paddle attachment. Um, you will also need a metal whisk and a spatula. The whole preparation won't take long at all, so I advise you to switch on the oven and preheat it to 180 degrees Celsius now. We'll start with mixing butter and sugar, whisking it together until it's nice, light and fluffy. Now you can see that the mixture is much lighter in color and it's fluffy. So now it's time to start adding the eggs, one at a time. Now I'm going to add vanilla and orange blossom water, one teaspoon of vanilla extract and two teaspoons of orange blossom water, which incidentally tastes and smells nothing like orange. Very interesting, very complex aroma, lovely. Now we'll whisk that in. And now we're adding the cream cheese and the orange zest and mix it all together. And now we're going to mix the dry ingredients together before we add them to the butter. So into a bowl, put the ground almonds, polenta, and two teaspoons of baking powder. And now using a metal whisk or any whisk, mix it all together. And now we're going to add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. I'm not going to use an electric whisk. I'll just fold it in with a spatula. So I'll just add it all in and fold it in. And just like any baking with baking powder, we mix as little as possible, just until combined. And that's it. Mm -hmm. 
And now we're going to pour this mixture into the prepared baking tin. I'm using a spring form. You can use any tin you like as long as you line it with baking parchment. This one is 22 centimeters in diameter. You can use a little smaller or a little bigger. And it makes no difference. It will just make the cake a little bit taller or a little bit wider. There. And now gently spread it to the edges. Okay, it in. And smooth it. Smooth it out with your spatula. And now we're going to bake it uh, in the preheated to 180 degrees Celsius oven for 30 minutes. And then we'll uh, turn the tin around if your oven bakes unevenly like mine. If not, just uh, never mind that. But after 30 minutes, uh, turn the temperature down to 160 or maybe even 155 and bake for another 20 minutes because if you keep it on 180 for 50 minutes it may get too dark so after 30 turn it down about 20 degrees down the cake is almost ready and now we're going to prepare the syrup 100 ml of freshly squeezed orange juice and 150 grams of orange marmalade we're going to bring it to a simmer and then wait until the marmalade has melted completely and then simmer it on very low for about five minutes to reduce it a little bit and then our syrup is ready i'm using two kinds of marmalade here one with plenty of orange peel and the other one is just jelly like and gently stir it and just wait until the marmalade melts so all the marmalade has melted and the syrup has reduced we simmered it on very low for five minutes and now we're turning it off the cake is ready as you can see it's all perfectly baked nicely um, even colored golden brown absolutely beautiful if you gently press on it it just springs back perfect and now i'm going to use a wooden skewer you can also use a toothpick and just make little holes all over the cake plenty the more the better that will help the syrup when we pour it over to absorb um, and make the cakes super moist and super delicious like so everywhere and now let's pour the syrup just spoon by spoon go over the cake and pour it all in if it looks like it's too much syrup don't worry it isn't it will be all absorbed into the cake and it will keep the cake moist and super delicious. I keep mine in the fridge. It can last in the fridge for as long as it lasts. And then you just take a slice and microwave it for about 15 to 20 seconds and it goes back to being super moist. Keep doing that, spoon it out until it's all gone. That's it. Now it's all done and we're going to leave the cake in the tin for one hour. It's been one hour and the cake cooled down and absorbed all the syrup and now we're going to cut a slice and see what it looks like. Look at that. The cake looks very nice and moist and it turned out exactly how we wanted it to and i hope you try it and like it and let us know in the comments below thank you for watching this episode of culinary haven and until next time bye